So I'm here at the absolutely fabulous piano mix. Listen to some of the ambiance that is uh, beyond me here. Now, this is a place for lovers uh, and friends. Someone that can call someone up and say, Darling, are you free tonight? Would you like to come with me and share a, share a drink? Now, I like to share a Don Perignon with the fabulous group. But tonight, this is about the lovers. This is about the friends. And this is about the ambiance. Now, looking around the room, you can absolutely see there is some sort of romance created right here, right now. We are witnessing it right here, right now. Now, you can see even the fabulous friends now, there's some sort of ambiance around that table. You can see it, it's fabulous. Now, these are the things that we like to see. We are out listening to the fabulous music, listening to the fabulous artists that are absolutely fantastic. This is fabulous concoction. Some sort of lime and cranberry, one of my favorites, one of my top five at least. This is a fabulous drink. I may have at least two or three more, but I don't want to get too carried away, you know. But I definitely think you should definitely visit the Piano Works in Faraday. It's a place I'm going to go. I love it. <laughs> now you are being mentored at the moment by a very interesting person in the music industry. Tell us a bit about him. The name of people who got her don't mind. Um, at the moment, thanks to some writing for me, um, I met a wonderful writer called Ian Dench uh, at one of the retreats and in October. So we've been working together trying to find where I fit in the music industry, which is you know, very niche, but the idea is that anyone who likes it. Well, 
it's yes. a great thing, isn't it? Sort of collaboration with different many collaborations, obviously, worth doing. Now, Brook on the Street itself investigates how um, artists, bands really try and work hard to try and promote themselves in the music without the help of such from a record label or a publishing And um, because of the help of social media, blah, 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 that through recent times it's, it's been known for artists to really get ahead more so rather than in the old days when it took a lot longer. Uh, we just did an interview with um, John Lennon's sister uh, fairly recently and she did actually comment that she felt it was a lot difficult, more difficult in her brother's time uh, when John Lennon was trying hard to obviously get that far and obviously he was one of the biggest bands in the whole world um, but of course they didn't have the help of social media. Now what do you think how it is now? Do you think it's been a lot easier for you because of social media or do you think no, it's, it's just the same case as it was probably in the 60s. I think each era will have its challenges. Um, but I think pros and cons. I think with with me, with social media, you get to reach so many people so quickly if you have the right leverage, if you have the right way of going about it. Um, but of course, if you don't know how to communicate with social media you know, techniques, it can be more difficult. But it's you know, in the old days, Prince has just passed away, we've had the loss of Michael Jackson. Um, do you yeah. think there's been enough really to promote those older artists and the music from that generation? Yeah. Because now we're Yeah, because we're doing a lot, we're listening to a lot of current music at the moment, aren't True. I agree. I mean, let's face it, lots of the radio stations nowadays, they, they don't play a lot of the old tunes, do they? Exactly. And you know, every generation now
we are doing an actual part two interview with the arcade and I, they did a collaboration album with uh, Elton John and Soft Machine so we're due to interview them soon this week at a summer party which I'm very much looking forward to so do keep up with us as well and let us know how you're getting ready to find out No, I called Jeeves. Jeeves did not arrive when I asked him to arrive. I'm absolutely disgusted. I am not placing my feet on anything other than the train in at least the next five minutes. There is black cabs all over London. We don't need to go and sit on a train with all the other normal people. We need to just take a cab. I am not walking around the streets of London with the dusk walking through my skin. I have put at least Prada, two layers of Prada skin care on this evening. I am not spoiling that. I am sitting on the train, relaxing. That's the way it is. But I've got all of this to take back with me. I really don't want to do this. Well, you can oh, do with the exercise. That is the way it is. And bro. my feet are killing me. My Manolo Blonics. I just want to go home. No, I want to go home and absolutely put my feet on with a Dom Perignon, a cigar, and that's the way it is. We are going now instantly. You either come with me or I leave you like it did 10 years ago and allow you to come back into my life. That's the way it is. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what, I'll take a cab. You can take the train. You go. Go now. Go. Where are we going? 
we going? We know, it's your fault. We went this way, but then we came back this way, and we need to go that way. Blair, I've told you before, it's this way, not that way. It's not that way, it's that way. I said that earlier on, and you did not listen. You need to open up your ear holes, darling. Can't we just take a cab? No, we do not take cabs. We will call Jeeves. Look, there's a black cab that just went there now. We do not take black cabs. We will call Jeeves. Give me the phone, I will call him. I am not getting in one of those vulgar things. What's wrong with the black cat? There's dirt and there's chewing gums and some sort of other stuff in there. I'm not, no, no, we're, we're not going, we're not going. I'm here now with Dan Olsen outside the Piano Works in Farrington. Hello, Dan, how are you? I'm very good. Thanks for that. No problem at all. Now, you know, one of our questions we always ask, the man always gets us to ask, is what is it like in the day? Well, it is, it is full of things, and it's quite something, I don't know why this is so fun, and then it has to start, and it's it's all about the song, that's like the foundation, if you don't have good songs, it's not what you should say, you don't have amazing songs, and it's sort of fun to work from, that is it, and then there are other things like, if you've got the song, so you're a songwriter and you've got that going for you, then you look at the next thing, which is getting out to people. And so you spend a lot of time songwriting. So we just interviewed Elizabeth and she said the same thing. How much of your time do you spend songwriting? I would say, well, on average, I would say around three hours a day. And I wish it would be more. But the thing is that so When you're on your own, I think there's a lot of things you have to do. Like, I was gonna, it was going to lead me to the next two things, which are promoting yourself. One of them is performing, and the other thing is doing social media. And I think you sort of have to do that almost 50 50. You wouldn't believe it's 50 percent social media. It's so important to have a social media presence. You're very active social media. So that is Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram. Snapchat, it's huge. So, and that's also keep, you, keep yourself updated. On what's, so, you've been hot. tweeting and you've been snapping all, all day? I have, I have, <laughs> in fact, yeah. I've spent, I've, I've spent at least two hours a day in the Well, th this question is important because we just mentioned to Elizabeth, we just did an interview with John Lennon's sister, which uh, was very important to us, and she did make it clear to us that in the days when John Lennon was just making it, obviously, social media wasn't around. John Lennon? John Lennon. Okay. Yes, from yeah. Um, when John Lennon made it, obviously okay. social media wasn't around then, and to make it big in those days, you had to go out and do a gig. Yeah. Uh, you had to go out and bask, so you got seen by the right person. Now, obviously, now it's different. You have to send out an MP3, you send out a link. You know, um, do you think it's harder now these days to get noticed by the I think it's not as easy to do. I think there, there's always plus. I think back then it was maybe it was easier to earn money from music. It wasn't not everyone was doing it like it is today, it seems like everyone was doing it. And, and you could earn more for it and people were willing to pay for it and then they were you just they just the stream free. So, so you ask yourself, okay, so what is the money for? So you can say advertising that's but that's another but I think, I think, you can't really compare them. Of, of course you can compare them, but you can't really say which one. I wish I would have been a musician back then, or vice versa. So, you just have to work with what you've got. You have to keep yourself updated. Okay, how is social media working today? What's new? And how do I get myself noticed? It's a record of what I really want. Do you want to do what I want? Is it important to you, or is it just important for you to get yourself known and get your music out there? I think you have to start with making yourself known and getting your music out there. And, and I think that's what you want to create. You want to create it on your own. You want to make it happen. Because once you believe in yourself and you make it happen on all these fronts, you know, writing songs, doing social media, gigging, doing your own website, and, and looking like a pro, once you do all of that, people are going to see, ah, oh, Guys, let's invest in him, you know. 
and as a musician or her. So I think you have to believe in yourself first. Because if you believe in yourself first and you make it happen, then people will automatically come to be attracted to you. But to answer your question, uh, the record deal, I think a record deal is not just a record deal, it depends on what the record deal looks like. Okay, so would you like to have a certain amount of control over what you do? That's exactly it. Yeah. So you'd like to, because Rock on the Street is about organic music. Okay, so it's about organic music and it's going out there as an artist and just playing for the love of it, you know, being original for the love of it. So going back to what it's really all about, the roots. So do you really want a record deal for fame or do you want to just be out there and be heard because you love music? It starts with passion, like I say, and so I want my music to get out to the people as possible, those people connect with the music. So that's the main thing, and, and be able to make make a living from that music, because that's what I want to do. So that's the dream scenario. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, and you're I'm, I'm making it happen now. now. Exactly. Um, the only thing I'm doing dream. is music, but you have to be willing to do it 24-7. Now you've, um, you've always done some great shows, I think. Have you done something now? You've just got Elton John as well. That was amazing. Yeah, how was that? Was that amazing? It was amazing. We had a big crowd. There's nothing better than that. Thousands of people. It's just huge. So, it was, it was very hard. Are you hoping to get chances like that again? Yeah, of course. That's, That's one of your fans. <laughs> I, that wasn't my fan. My biggest fan. My only one. That's a fan. fan. Well, look, it's, it, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for today. And uh, we're looking forward to hearing you sing. Now you might be singing tonight, but you're not sure. Well, I'm half organizing tonight, so depending on the that. Well, perhaps we'll catch you another night when you are singing. But of course, we'll send links on Brook on the Street's website for your website so people can hear your music as well. So thank you very much for your time. And obviously, keep up to date with Brook on the Street. We would love to interview you again at some point. It's fun how you're getting on with your organic music on your own. Thank you very much. Jeeves? Are you Jeeves? Are you Jeeves? I've, I've called Jeeves. No? Oh. Well, tell, when you see Jeeves, tell him I'm very disappointed with him. <laughs> Absolutely. Have you seen Jeeves? I've lost Jeeves. Jeeves? Have you seen Jeeves? I've lost him. Absolutely lost him.